Hi everyone, let's talk a little bit about social studies and the scholastic news, which we don't get to do very much of uh, unless we have a full class meeting. Of course, I check your worksheets and I hope uh, that you're reading the issues and watching the videos. But one of the things we haven't talked about is the vocabulary and what we've learned uh, so far there. So we're just gonna do a very quick review of the September issues of the magazine. So we started with cover that sneeze, please. And we learned two really important words. One was germs, and you might've known this before. These are tiny living things that can make people sick. And that's why it's so important you wash your hands really well, not just because of coronavirus, you should wash your hands every day, all year round, okay? Even if it's summer, especially when you come home because you bring all those germs home with you. Okay, so be sure to be careful when you sneeze, to wash your hands and all of those things. And extra careful now. The other word that we learned was pediatrician. This is a doctor who takes care of children. And there's a little bonus note here. Pedia means children. It's a Greek word. And iatrician or iatrist or iatri or iatric means doctor. So, and We also read the power of yet, okay, talking about what we could and couldn't do yet. And there were two very good words here also. The first one was frustrated. If you're frustrated, you're upset about something you think you can't do or can't change. In my case, my son gets frustrated because blocks keep falling off his tower. The other word was challenge. This is something that is hard to do. It may take extra work to do it. So an example sentence is building a tower of blocks was a challenge, but he enjoyed it. By the way, the word challenge will be one of our trick words much, much later this year. So why not learn it now? And then there was this very important issue, an end to bullying. Now, it doesn't seem to me like we have any bullies in this class but we can still learn something about bullies and how we can stop it, even if we don't know anyone who's a bully. Putting an end to bullying is not just stopping the bully, it's helping the person who is being bullied. So let's look at the word bullying. That means making someone feel bad on purpose. Making fun of someone and telling mean secrets about them are kinds of bullying. Okay, so we have to be very, very careful. I really don't like bullies, and I hope you don't either. And I hope you take care of the people around you who are sad and who are mistreated by others. The next word that we learned is advice. When you give someone advice, you tell them what you think they should do. And be very careful with this word. Advice is a noun. It's a thing. Advise is a verb or an action. So I can say, I asked my mom for her advice, okay? And she advised me to be more careful next time. See how one is spelled with a C and the other one has an S? And the one that's spelled with an S actually has a Z sound, advise, okay? So that's very important. And finally, this last issue from uh, September was called Thank You Community Workers. And in it, we learned about the people who continue working their jobs, even though it could be a little risky. They're in places that are not um, exactly healthy all the time, or they, they, or they're in places where there are a lot of germs. So we thank them for their work because Without them, our lives would be much more difficult. In this issue, we learned a lot of words. The first one was community. And a community is a place where people live, work, and play together.
Okay, Ocean City is a pretty quiet community in winter, I think. We also learned the word supplies. Supplies are things you need to get something done. If you want to clean a floor or a bathtub, you'll need cleaning supplies. If you are getting ready to return to school, you might need school supplies like pencils and notebooks and erasers. If you're getting ready to do a project, you might need art supplies like paint and brushes and things like that. And if you're getting ready to build a house or a swing set, you'll need construction supplies or building supplies. We also learned about some of the jobs like mail carriers. Now, mail carriers, these are workers who bring us mail and packages. Sometimes people call them mailmen, but they're not always men. There are a lot of women who do this job also. Okay. We also learned about healthcare workers. These are workers who take care of us when we are sick. Nurses, doctors, and other people who work at hospitals are healthcare workers. Sanitation workers, these are workers who take away trash and keep streets clean. We really need them because if no one took away our garbage, it would be very unhealthy and it would look terrible. No one would want to come here and it would smell pretty bad too. Okay, so we're very thankful for sanitation workers. And finally, we learned about grocers. A grocer is, I'm going to show you an old picture of a grocer. Grocers are workers who sell food. Grocers can also sell things like paper towels and soap. And when school closed in March, a long time ago, it seems like it was a long time ago, a lot of us really needed to get things, a lot of things from the supermarket because supermarkets were selling out of things very quickly. Or grocers were working extra hard to make sure there was uh, soap, that there was shampoo, that we had toilet paper, and all of the fruit and vegetables, meat, everything we needed, they kept putting it out on the shelf. So that was a very important service that they provided. The end.